Reactions of musculoskeletal tissues to disorders and injuries Always remember that your patient is a person. Think not only gross lesions, but also in terms of dynamic biological activity in the cells. Manifestation of clinical, radiological, and laboratory. Boom. As highly specialized type of connective tissue, bone only capable limited number of reactions to abnormal conditions. The basic nature of reactions is microscopic or cellular level. There are four ways, local death, alteration of bone deposition, alteration of bone resorption, and mechanical failure that leads to fracture. Completely deprived of its blood supply, may lead to a vascular necrosis of bone, then further incites reaction from its surrounding tissue. The living bone can react to abnormal conditions by alteration of deposition or resorption, or both. The deposition of bone is called osteoplastic formation of organic matrix or osteoid. The classification of this matrix to form bones may last, but seldom more. Overall, the altered deposition of bone is divided into increased deposition, which is increased formation of matrix with normal calcification, or decreased deposition, which is either decreased formation of matrix or hypocalcification. The second one is altered resorption of bone which further divided into increased resorption or decreased resorption. And the last one is combined of altered deposition and resorption. The abnormality may be localized or generalized. The increased deposition or decreased resorption in increased bone radiographic bone density can be seen as chlorosis or vice versa in less bone Decreased radiographic density is called refraction. The position is by osteoblast while the resorption is by osteoclast. Generally, bone mass increase from birth to mid-20, then constant until later life, but in old age, it progressively decreased. Examples of reactions of living bone there are two types of reactions. First one is generalized reactions of all bones as an organ. The generalized increase in bones such as in osteopetrosis or acromegaly and generalized decrease in bone such as in osteoporosis or osteopenia. There is low osteoblastic formation and in rickets and osteomalacia which is in low calcification of bone. The other one is localized reactions of bone as a structure. The localized increase in bone includes work hypertrophy in Walsh's disease, degenerative osteoarthritis, fractures, infections, osteosclerotic neoplasm, or reactive bone or tumor bone. The other one is localized decrease in bone, such as in disuse atrophy or disuse osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, infections, or osteolysis, and osteolytic neoplasms. Mechanical failure of bone or fracture. The collagen fibers give strength and tension. While calcified in organic matrix, give strength and compression. In children, there's plastic deformation of bone. Epiphyseal plates the Reaction of epiphyseal plates It's highly specialized structure through which longitudinal growth occurs. There's limited number of reactions. Basically, there are increased growth, decreased growth, and torsional growth. Normal growth requires intact structure and normal blood supply. The examples of reactions of 
epiphyseal plates. Generalized reactions of all epiphyseal plates, there are two. First one is generalized increase in growth or gigantism, such as in arachnodactyly or Marfan syndrome, the hyperchondroplasia, and pituitary gigantism because of the excessive growth hormones. The other one is generalized decrease in growth or dwarfism, such as in achondroplasia, pituitary dwarfism or Lorraine pipes, and rickets. The localized reactions of an epiphyseal plate. The localized increase in, go in growth. Bang ya. Localized reactions of epiphyseal plate. The first one is localized increase in growth. Chronic inflammation, displaced fracture of the shaft of a long bone, congenital atriovenous malformations. The localized decrease in growth, such as induced retardation, physical injury, thermal injury, ischemia, and infection. The localized torsional growth is when subjected to continual or intermittent twisting force. Reactions of Articular Cartilage The smooth and reciprocally shaped cartilaginous opposing surface permit frictionless and painless movement, and any irregularities will lead to progressive degenerative changes. Joint capsule particularly sensitive to stretch. Hyaline Articular Cartilage used for cyclical loading and unloading. It helps in diffusion in, nutrient, and out the waste of the matrix. Also transmitted as a signal to continue produce collagen and proteoglycan. It contains no blood vessels, lymphatics, or nerve. It reacts to abnormal condition. Examples of reaction of articular cartilage. Destruction. The power of regeneration of articular cartilage is so limited, easily disrupted by any condition that interferes with the main source of nutrition and chondrolytic enzyme from pus. Examples are rheumatoid arthritis, infection, ankylosing spondylitis, prolonged immobilization of synovial joints, continuous compression of articular cartilage, which leads to compression of necrosis of articular cartilage just like pressure sore. The last one is intra-articular in injection of hydrocortisone, which leads to hydrocortisone atrophy. The other examples of reaction of articular cartilage is degeneration. As seen as part of normal aging process, the articular becomes thinner and less cellular. Then it becomes less resilient and prone to injury. It initiated by change in the intracellular matrix or chondromalacia and subsequent uncovering of the collagen fibrils or fibrillation. Later, the central weight bearing area eroded and exposing the subchondral bone, which with continued movement become thickened or sclerotic and polished or hibernated. The examples are premature aging of cartilage previous destruction of cartilage, and incongruity or irregularity of joint surface. The next example is peripheral proliferation. The rim is covered by a type of perichondrium that is continuous with synovial membrane. The degeneration of central area causes the rim to grow thicker, and initially, the cartilage or chondrophyte formation leads to subsequently ossified or ossified formation. There is possibility of healing and regeneration of articular cartilage by rest and motion and continuous passive motion. The continuous passive motion stimulates and accelerates the healing and regen of articular cartilage, ligaments, tendons,
Reaction of synovial membrane. The synovial membrane secretes synovial fluids for nutrition and lubrication. It's capable of reacting to abnormal condition by producing excessive fluids or effusion, which are serous in mild sprain, inflammatory exudates in synovitis or rheumatoid arthritis, purulent in septic arthritis or hemorrhagic in severe injury or hemophilia. There is also hypertrophy and adhesion between itself and articular cartilage. Reactions of joint capsule and ligaments Fibrous joint capsule and ligaments allow desired range of motion but provide stability. It reacts to abnormal condition by laxity and contraction for laxity. It's divided into three generalized congenital laxity of capsule and ligaments that probably genetics or injury is a traumatic dislocation or subluxation with rupture of capsule or ligaments or infection in septic arthritis the capsule may be destroyed by pus for contracture there are congenital joint contractures for example club feet infections it's fibrosis and scar formation of the capsule following infection and chronic arthritis in rheumatoid arthritis and degenerative joint disease lead to progressive fibrous contracture or muscle contracture in Foltzmann's disease, muscle imbalance, or prolonged muscle spasm. Reactions of skeletal muscle The first one is atrophy. It's when the muscle not being used normally can be called disuse atrophy. The other condition is polio, polyneuritis, myasthenia gravis, and muscular dystrophy. The second one is hypertrophy. In work hypertrophy, it's when the muscle repeatedly exercises against resistance or isometric contraction. The third one is necrosis. In condition of ischemic necrosis, whether by persistent traumatic vascular spasm, thrombosis, embolism, or compartment syndrome, and it happened if left more than six hours. The fourth one is contracture. It's when remains shortened state of prolonged period or muscle contracture. Other conditions such as polymyositis, muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy. The last one is regeneration it may regenerate thanks to satellite cells musculoskeletal deformities always consider first the structure or structures and the likely cause assess the significance not only its appearance but also its present or future effect of function Types of bony deformity, loss of alignment, twisted in long axis or torsional or crook, angulatory, abnormal length, may be abnormally short or long, in limbs, limb length decrepancy can occur. The last one is bony outgrowth. Causes of bony deformity can be congenital abnormalities, fracture, Disturbance of official plate screws, bending of abnormality soft bones or overgrowth of adult bone. In congenital abnormalities of bony development, there are aplasia, hypoplasia, dysplasia, and duplication. For fractures, there are malunion or non-union. The pathological fractures may be clearly deformed like normal bone or microscopic or and repeated which produce progressive bony deformities. The disturbance of official plate growth, the bending of abnormality soft bone in rickets and osteomalacia may bend the bones, and overgrowth of adult bone in osteitis deformance, Paget's disease, or osteochondroma. Types of joint deformity 
there are displacement of joint, excessive mobility of joint, restricted mobility of the joint. The displacement of joint is when no reciprocal relationship is maintained. It can be dislocated, luxated, or subluxated. The excessive mobility or hypermobility of the joint is when fibrous joint capsule and ligament is normally serve as check reins. And the last one is restricted mobility 